What's up YouTube? Uh, I'm back again with another computing related video. This time it's a HP Compact 6530B laptop I've been using as a Windows 10 Insider Preview slave. It's never been officially upgraded from an underlying activated Windows 7 license um, and it was failing to get the latest Insider Preview builds post RTM. So what I've done, I've uh, clean installed We're using the factory CD and I've got myself a 64-bit version of Windows 10. Now, I don't know if you noticed there, I'll just go back real quick. This is a 32-bit installation. And in fact, if I just do this and this, you'll see that it's a 32-bit version. Now, you can't upgrade to a 64-bit version. And you have to do an upgrade to get to Windows 10 first. So how am I going to do it? Well, some clever guys over at My Digital Life have discovered a way of doing a clean install simply by running the upgrade tool from here and then um, copying an XML file off to a thumb drive clean installing Windows 10 and before uh, connecting Windows 10 to the internet you copy this XML back connect your Windows 10 install to the internet and it will activate so that's what I'm going to try now I'm just going to go on uh, Stop the video here whilst I set everything else up. So I'll pop a link to the article on the MDL forums into the video description. But for now, the gist of it is this. You basically validate your Windows 7 install. Um, this is an OEM key from an OEM image. Uh, it should just be genuine. Uh, we can test all this. We've got to be on Wi-Fi. This is probably because it's pre-SP1 I think it was pre-SP1 let me go back yes it's pre-SP1 and it's installing the validation check so basically you've got to make sure that you're already validated before you can go any further so I'll pause the video now and I'll come back when it's finished I'm on a very very slow internet connection so I did finally install and it's just doing the validation step now and it could not be validated as genuine. Windows uh, da, 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 please if you keep getting contact support. So this is valid. Let me uh, check again. You know what I'll just go ahead and, and try and do this upgrade anyway because it is a HP factory install from a genuine CD um, so yeah so the gist of it is you uh, download Windows 10 whichever flavor you want or are eligible for this is professional so I've got the pro edition and then from the installation CD you find an application called gather OS state so that's what I'm going to go and find now Okay, so the idea basically is from the ISO for Windows 10 or the burnt disk, uh, you need to go into the sources folder and copy the gather OS state executable from it. Now, this is a 32 bit Windows 7, so you need the 32 bit ISO. If it was a 64 bit Windows 7, the 64 bit ISO, you get the drift. But you can clean install Windows 10 with whichever version you eventually want, so this is going to be 64 bit. So I've only got the 32 bit disk. For the gather our state 32 bit. So we'll go in the folder, we'll go in the sources folder, and we'll find gather our state. And I'll just copy it to the desktop for now and we'll double click it. And you've got to be on the Wi Fi for this or plugged into the network, and it should produce. A ticket in the form of an XML. There we go, genuine ticket. I'll just open that up with Notepad, but I'll do this off camera. I just want to make sure the content is correct. So the file looks to be about right, so I'm just going to stick a, a USB thumb drive in and copy that file off because you're going to format the disk and lose everything. And that's about it. 
All I need to do now is put my 64 bit uh, Windows 10 in, boot, install, and then I'll pick up the rest of it when we're back on the Windows desktop. But don't forget, you can't be on the Wi Fi until you've put this ticket back where it needs to be for successful activation. So I'm going to do the whole Windows 10 install process now and then I'll pick it up when I'm copying this file off of the USB key. I'm just showing you this part because uh, you need to skip the product key prompt. Here we go, so we're at the second um, product key prompt. I'm just going to click the do this later and I'm not going to connect it to any Wi-Fi nor is it plugged into any uh, router. And we're going to say do this later and skip this step and I'm just going to go use express settings for now because I'm lazy and I'll catch up with you when it gets back to the desktop and it did a reboot and it's prompted again for the zero key so you can skip that I'm going to skip the Wi-Fi and I said use express settings before uh, it did flash the desktop briefly but I think it's probably just a, a glitch. Okay, I'm going to just put some more generic details in. I'm going to put user, say next. And this is the we're setting things up for you stage, which can take, well, from my experience anyway, and from five minutes to 45 minutes and you eventually get a message up saying this is taking longer than normal and just wait for it to finish All right, we're finally back at the Windows desktop and just to confirm if we go to oh hang on system properties system it's Windows 10 and it's not connected to the internet to activate Windows. So, and I did install the 64 bit version. So, time to pop the USB key back in. And then the trick is to go to, you can tell this is unrehearsed, go to C. program data which is hidden I believe and then we can go to Microsoft Windows clip SVC genuine ticket and here is where we pop The ticket and yeah I'll just say continue to the administrative access now there is a stop and start service you can do but the best way is probably to remove the USB and do a system reboot which is what the guide says so I'll do a reboot and then we'll go online and see if it activates. Alrighty, so we're rebooted. And I'll just go back to system and see what the activation status is. Could not connect still. But now I can go online, which involves, because I've got a really slow internet, tethering to my phone. So I'm going to do that. And then we'll attempt to activate. So I'm just connecting to my phone. And we're connected. With a bit of luck, I should just be able to go to activate. And there you have it, Windows is activated. So, 
I should be able to stick myself into the insider rings um, and receive the latest insider preview builds. And there you go. And if I just come back to system and do a little refresh, I'll maximize it. Uh, refresh? No. Okay. System. And Windows is activated. So a clean install to Windows 10 64 bit using the 32 bit Windows 7 and the 32 bit Windows 10 to generate a genuine ticket. And then you copy the genuine ticket into that folder and connect online and activate. Simple. Thanks for watching.